Hello friends. This light is not doing my double chin situation any favors, but here we are. <laughs> so today we are going to do a different style of come shop with me. So just recently we had a second and Charles open up in my area. Second and Charles has not been in my area in my entire lifetime. So <laughs> I've got two big bags of manga that I'm going to go trade in at Second and Charles. So I've done the math on what it all would be list price. And I'm just curious kind of what the exchange rate is going to be. I also know that they will either pay you out for it or give it to you in credit. And I don't know if they'll give you more in credit or if it's the same if they pay you out in cash. I don't know. So we're going to find out today. We're going to do a little experiment. I've, Like I said, I've done the math for the two bags. Here's what the list price looks like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a caveat here that my Barnes & Noble discount is amazing. So I'm going to slash this number so it looks like, like my Barnes & Noble discount number. So more realistically, what I would have paid for all of this. And then we're going to go into Second and Charles. We're going to see what they're willing to give for it. And I'm also going to wander around. I haven't walked in the store yet. It's been open about a week now. So I wanted to give it some time so people had some chances to bring some things in to trade in so that I could get a better feel of kind of what their used situation is looking like. Because I know like when it's first opening that it... Um, they usually just bring in things from other stores. And so it may not reflect how it's going to look overall. So I wanted to kind of give it some time to get the local people in and trading in before I brought my stuff. Cause the stuff I have is really good and I think they're really gonna be excited to have it. So again, some of this I was given for free. Some of it I found used and some of it I got with my discount, which is why we're gonna go by my discount, my Barnes Noble discount number so that this is a pretty good feel of what I probably actually spent on what's in these bags and what um, Second and Charles would be willing to give me for it. So with that said, as I'm in there waiting for them to kind of do the trade-in stuff, I'm gonna wander around, kind of look at their selections. We're gonna see kind of what they have. Um, I may also do a similar video with novels because maybe they give more for novels than they do for manga i don't know we're gonna see what's going on here and we'll break down all the numbers and all that kind of stuff i want to know if trading it in is worth it or whether posting it for list price somewhere would net me more money i'm guessing posting it for list price somewhere will net me more but this is also just very convenient i don't have to worry about shipping and the, the post office and all that kind of stuff so I'm going to try to figure out what is best financially for me and for my sanity. So um, they're going to open in about 10 minutes. So I'm going to keep going on my current audiobook until they're open. And then from there, we'll scope the second in Charles. I miss your face. It's been a long time now. Just go ahead and get on that night train and move around. Been gone for a while now. Set free from your shackles and your chains. One down, one to go. What's left, you don't know. The heart knows what the heart wants. So who are you to say no? Cause you have better come to your senses. Open your eyes, missing it out. Your heart is being trapped in your fences. Baby, can't you see that? You have better come to your, to your. Baby, can't you see that? You have better come to your, to your. Baby, can't you see that? You have better come to your. What does it take? You're safe in your shelter. Run away. You came with the name tag. All your regrets. You know that you felt it. So, <laughs> I am now back in the car and I am 
feeling very scammed right now. So even taking in halving the number that the list price was worth, um, they offered me $60 in trade-in and 30 in a cash payout for $730 worth of list price manga. And that doesn't feel right at all to me. Like, even when they half it, like, even after I halved it, they more than halved the half. Like, it's a f scam. Like, it is just the biggest scam. Like, I cannot. So, here are the numbers. And I'm not going to be trading in at Second and Charles anymore. I may occasionally come in and pick up a few things if they have something that Barnes doesn't. But outside of that, I'm not going to be spending a lot of time at Second and Charles unless I really don't want to list and ship things to sell. Which, considering how much I have, I might come over and do a few more trades just because I want it out of my house. But at the same time, my local used has a better trade rate. So I think I might go to my local used before coming back to Second and Charles to see what they would give me for it. So there's that. That's where I'm at. I'm upset. I'm now going to go meet up with my friend, have some food, and chill out because <laughs> I'm just livid. I'm upset. I feel like I just basically gave the manga away. And that sucks because I spend a lot of money on manga and you know, I felt like I was being pretty reasonable. I expected, you know, sick. I expected more like the cash payout would be what I was expecting what I got for the trade and then the trade would be closer to a hundred. Like that's what I was expecting realistically. So I wasn't trying to like be extreme in anything that I was thinking. I'm like, you know, 25% of what it's worth is roughly here. So, you know, that was my thought process, but now they gave me like 10% of what it's worth. Like, no, never again. No, thank you. Okay, I'm done ranting. Goodbye. <laughs> Sorry this video ended on a negative note. We won't fully end it on that because I did end up picking up some things. I'll show you what I picked up when I get home. Hi friends. So it's now actually been a couple of days since I last chatted with you in this video. I clearly needed time to calm down. Yes, you got a bleep in this video for the first time ever in the history of my channel. I'm sorry about that. That's how upset I was. I'm not the kind of person to curse regularly, so... That tells you how upset I was. Anyhow, let's talk about the things that I did pick up from Second and Charles. Their selection was okay. They had a lot more news, um, new than I expected. Then again, they're still trying to get their used circulation into this particular store. So I'm guessing that will improve over time. But yes, even though I just edited the parts from the previous, previous to this point, I'm still upset, just so you're aware. So let's talk about the things that I did pick up with my trade-in money, because that's what I accepted from them. Let's see. Pretty sure I have everything. Okay, now that I've got that all sorted, let's go ahead and dive in. Let's talk about the manga and graphic novels that I picked up first, and then we'll talk about the used books I pick up, picked up. So, first things first. Um, I picked up a copy of Tiger Tiger. This is a new graphic novel that came out for, through Seven Seas that I've been very excited to try. And so I decided to pick up a copy there. This one's geared towards teens and it is not color inside. So it is more like a manga instead of a graphic novel. But yes, I am very excited. This is a very like sturdy build. It's not a floppy one. So it might be a little hard to read. Um, but anyways, we're, it's a pirate. It's a black pirate girl and I'm like here for it. I'm very, very excited to read all about this and I will hopefully share my thoughts with you very, very soon as soon as I read it. Next I have The Duke of Death and His Maid Volume 7. Yes, this does have an etchy element to it and that's why the cover is the way it is, but I still love the series oh so very much. 
Um, I've really enjoyed every step of the way. I am a couple of volumes behind, but I know I love this one to continue collecting it. So I went ahead and picked this one up. I'm hoping to catch up during 30 and 30 if I can. Next, I hit, picked up I Hear the Sunspot Limit 2 because Limit 2 keeps not coming back in to my particular barns. So I went ahead and picked that up while I was there. I still need to read Limit 1 and then go on to Limit 2 and keep going with I Hear the Sunspot. But I love this series so very much. So I'm very excited to see where it continues. Then I picked up the next installment of Crossplay Love which is volume five, and I'm very, very excited to see what happens with our cross-dressing boys and how things start to develop as things continue to evolve. And then last but not least in the manga category of things, I did pick up the final volume of Run On Your New Legs. Um, we keep not getting it in at my barn, so I decided to go ahead and pick up this fifth volume so that I can finish out this beautiful and amazing series. I may finish it today, so I might be finished by the time you guys are actually seeing this. So just know that I have loved the series the whole way through. I've cried multiple times. This one truly is special, and I think everybody should be reading it. Now with that, let's move on to the other things I picked up. So there were two... Christine Feehan's that I did not have them in my collection yet, so I went ahead and grabbed those. So I have Dark Demon, which is um, Vikirnov and Natalia's story, and then I've got Dark Slayer, which is Ivory and Razvan's story. So I haven't, I don't think I've read either of these yet either. So these are some of the ones in the middle that I missed. So definitely going to be catching up with those. I decided to pick up a local author that I found there, and that's Wild Boy, or Wyoming Wild by Sarah Eden. Um, she tends to do very clean, proper romances. So I thought her take on a cowboy romance or a rancher romance might be a little bit of fun. So I'm very excited to see where this one goes. And then I came across a paranormal that looked really interesting, and it's called Heart Fortune. This is a Celta or Celta novel. Um, on the faraway planet Kelta, there are some forces you cannot fight. So I think it's a like alien fated mate situation. So I'm definitely going to give this a try. If I like it, there's a lot more in the series from what I gathered when I Googled it. So I am excited to hopefully find a new series to kind of get lost in and love. And then last but not least, they had a bunch of Joanna Lindsay's with the step backs. So I decided to go ahead and pick those up. And if I don't get along with these, I'll go ahead and send them on to someone else. But, so I have Until Forever with this step back. No Choice But Seduction with this step back. These step backs are stunning, by the way. The Magic of You with this step back. She has such classic step backs, it's amazing. And then I have Captive of My Desires with this step back, which, uh, hello. <laughs> the Pursuit, with this step back, which I loved. And then Heart of a Warrior, with this infamous step back. So that is everything that I picked up at Second and Charles. You'll be getting a haul from me soon of the things that are left in the bags around my house. But with that said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're here just because we, you love me, leave me an orange heart emoji, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. It's been raining for days now, been running like a child. Can't feel the cold, but I'm lost here with you, lost in the woods. Lost as I choose.